chosen ones, empaths. Like my personal belief, right, is I don't believe that dark arts, witchcraft, and stuff can actually affect you if you are a spiritual person. You know, you're a spiritual person. You're a godly person. You believe in the Most High. You're awake. I don't believe that these spiritual practice, these dark arts, can actually affect us. I don't believe in it, right? But it can bring a negative energy around you. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> a lot of today's New Age practices are actually underlying ancient practices of witchcraft. You know, like there's a lot of stuff that the Gen Zs and the Millennials have kind of got into in today's society, right? And I'm not judging you because some people are, are like not knowing that they're actually practicing this stuff and, and they think that it's okay to be a white witch and these sorts of things. But I just want you to be careful about those that practice this this new age dark heart stuff in today's culture like just be careful of stuff you're eating from people because these people like they're proper weirdos like they, like I'm telling you like you know if they believe in stuff like I'm just going to just say stuff I'm not saying they do this right yet but like they might say get a pineapple balance it on your head stand on one leg and chant on the 27th month 27th day of the month and they believe that um another god will 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 cause something in to happen in your life like, and what i'm trying to say to you is all of this is like idolatry it's all idol worship it's all believing in false gods other gods right now i'm gonna say something which some of you are not gonna agree with me right but you've got to understand that there are there's other GODs, small GODs, not big GOD. The big GOD is the God, the creator of the heavens and earth and everything that exists within it. But there are other demonic entities like fallen angels and, and whatnot that people do worship. That have come in a form and tricked people in a form through like even certain religions. So they're actually worshipping other entities. Obviously it's just the devil himself appearing in different forms such as the Baphomet or I don't know. You know like they like like this Kabbalah stuff and, and all of that like this ancient Jewish magic and like basically the fundamental thing is it's the devil right but he comes in various forms you know what i'm saying like the devil can come in the form of a snake the devil can come in the form of um of the baphomet like the 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 the, the, the male and female thing it's got it's got breasts and it's got male genitalia and it's that people worship this 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 idol this this being this this baphomet thing right and what i'm trying to say to you is just be careful of what you're eating from people like don't just eat willy-nilly people's food like and think it's okay because they do do weird magic practices and i'm not saying it has any power trust me god is the most high god is the all-powerful and anything that befalls you or harms you is actually through god like god controls everything it's all his will right but like Various cultures around the world, like I think it's the Spanish peoples, they practice brujeria. You know, they they sacrifice chickens. You know, um, in ancient Hindu magic, they connect with Lord Shiva apparently to cause death, destruction to families. But like, regardless of these dark arts, you know, they, they they're prevalent in today's pop culture and. You know, you millennials and Gen Zs, watch out because it's ingrained with things that you think are normal. Honestly, it's ingrained with things that you think are normal. You know, like, like, honestly, I don't believe there's any power in, in, you know, basically, they, another, another way that they do this, these rituals, it's all ritualistic idolatry worship, right? They'll, they'll, they'll use pages from the Bible 
or a Quran or a Torah or um, other religious texts, the Book of Vedas, um, other relig- you know religious texts, right? They'll use the scriptures and they'll they'll write it backwards, and they they might use some blood or semen or feces, and they'll 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 put it in a little um, in a little necklace, or they'll or they'll, or they'll tie it to a tree. Or they'll throw it in the water, and they believe if you throw it in the water, then you, they, they, then they're sealing your fate, and you're going to be forever in in problems. And they hang it from trees for very. I don't. I'm not an expert, yeah, and I don't want to look too much into it. But what I'm trying to say is, it's some weirdo, proper weirdo stuff, right? And like, this is what some people are doing, you know. And like, God knew this was going to be the case, you know. God's not a jealous God, right? He's not jealous, right? They say God's a jealous God, but he's not jealous. He's just saying, yo. Worship me, worship me, your maker, worship me. Don't fall victim to be worshipping these other things. So I'm not judging any of you if you have engaged in any kind of, of these dark arts, right? You know, um, but I'm trying to say that within pop culture today, they've targeted the Gen Zs and the millennials and they've kind of uh, infiltrated that and, 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 and twisted some dark art practices into new age philosophy so these people nowadays are feeling like oh this is new this is fresh this is present this is now this is current you know sorry to put on that voice but that's how they're feeling right but this stuff has gone way back babylonian ancient times you know what i'm saying you can see in 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 all of the, the the pyramids they worship the snake the snake sits on the above of the pharaoh's head you know they worship these other entities these other gods right or um you know like even uh what's what's his name is it odyssey is it odyssey basically there's like the war of the gods right the the ancient greek gods right people still worship these gods like they are beings they are entities that people do worship and i'm trying to say they get their powers through these other gods right the ancient Greeks practiced it. The ancient, um, in places like Tibet, and and, I, and I'm not that well versed, but I'm trying to say to you that um, As- not Asclepius, yeah, like Asclepius is the god of medicine, right? They believed he was a god of medicine, and in and in England, we have a picture. Of a snake and a staff, right, on our on our ambulances, our medical vans, right? And that is actually linked going way back to Asclepius, the god of medicine, which is an ancient god, right? And like they they, they, they do this they, so it's not even just practicing it, they make you try and worship other gods even through the clothes you wear, like Hermes, right? The the brand Hermes. Hermes is an ancient god, so they make you wear Hermes, and it's really an ancient god. And I didn't know that even Nike, Nike is actually based on an ancient god as well. Now, all of this stuff, I'm not saying that God's going to judge you for wearing a Nike jumper and say that you're committing idolatry worship, right? But I'm trying to say that just don't let anything, anything material be your forefront. Like, don't feel like, oh, I'm... I'm wearing this so I'm better than this person, you know, don't, like, I'm wearing some Hermes belt, so I'm better than them. If you do that, in your mind, you're actually committing idol worship. You need to be humble, regardless if you're wearing a $2 top, £2 top, or you're wearing a $2,000 top. I want you to try it and say, yo, I make the top good. And it was even 50 cent. He said... I don't wear no name brand stuff. He said, you know why I don't wear no name brand stuff? He said, because they should pay me to wear their name brand stuff. Because I'm advertising for them. So for even me, right? If I buy something name brand, I try to get something with a logo that's very small that you can hardly even see it. Because I don't actually like to walk around and present that I'm wearing it. Like there's a style of clothes that I like to wear, right? You know... There's a style of clothes that I like to wear. Um, 
I don't, I'm not into Gucci and Parada and, and, and Versace and all of that stuff. I'm not into all that. The only thing that I normally wear is diesel. But you can't, more, everything that I buy, like I bought a hat the other day, right? I bought a hat and it, it had a big badge on it, right? And I thought the badge was small in the picture on, on, on the internet. When I got it, I'm like, nah. So to be honest with you, when it, when it was cold and I was taking photos for YouTube, I twisted the hat round, put it backwards so you lot couldn't even see the logo on the front. That's what I'd done when I was taking photos for the, for the YouTube thumbnail. Like, I don't like glorifying, like, showing a label. Oh, look at me, I'm wearing a label. Like, honestly, I'm being serious. This stuff is materialistic worship. And this day and age is all about materialistic worship. Now, I know I've gone off track to basically about the dark arts, but all of this kind of interlinked. So just be careful with what you're practicing. Just know God is unseen. He's the God, He's unseen. He's the most high. He's the creator of all things. And worship him alone. Don't worship nothing else, right? Honestly, because they try to get you to worship stuff through clothing, through all this stuff. And it's been happening since the beginning of time. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you want a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. If you want more narcissism-based content, my main channel for that, the link is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.